In this project, we will validate the data provided by the paper named Numerical Investigation of Air Gap Membrane Distillation Seeking Optimal Performance. Now, in this slide, you can see that the figure 2 of the paper has been extracted, and you can see the picture of the model implemented in the paper. The present model is drawn in two dimensions using design model software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is structured. Now we're going to use this graph in order to validate and compare our CFT results with the paper. Now in the appear window which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display. Uh, so that the software will show you that part. By expanding the fluid section, which is under the materials part, you can see that four different materials are defined. The defined material, uh, including air, pure water, water liquids, saline, and water vapor, are all defined in the paper, and we have modeled this material in our CFT simulation. Also, if you expand the solid section, you can see that PVDF, uh, is also being defined which will be used as the membrane material. Now as was mentioned in earlier slides about the inlet boundaries having the same Reynolds number equal to 100, if you click on each of these inlets from air gap to permit inlet, you can see that under the momentum tab, the velocity magnitude for defined for these boundaries is equal to 0.1. And finally, for permit inlet, you can see that the temperature defined for this boundary is equal to 298.15. The outlet boundaries, all of the three outlet boundaries defined in this project, have the same type of pressure outlet. Now, all you have to pay attention in the settings window is the gauge pressure, which is defined to be zero. After double-clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear, showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change the discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order oven and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. After double clicking on the run calculation, a new window will appear. In the appear window under the parameter section, you are able to set the number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. Uh, after defining the number, by clicking on calculate, the software will start the simulation process. In order to extract a 2D contour for the computational domain, you just have to right click on contours and then select new. Now in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain. As was expected, the upper part, which contains the hot saline water, has, uh, has more temperature in comparison with the pure water flowing in the lower channel of the geometry. In this contour, you can easily see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain. You also can compare our results for the temperature and velocity contours with the graphs available in the article. Now, as was explained in the initiating the slides about the validation of the article, again, we have brought to you the figure 12 of the paper, which we had discussed about it in the early other slides, and how we're going to validate the results in this graph using our CFD simulation. But this time, if you double click on the point 0.1, and then click on compute in the appear window, the software will give you the temperature for the point with a spatial value of 0.1. It should only be mentioned that point reports give you the temperature on the membrane boundary, whereas the line reports give you the temperature on the ball. Now in this slide, we brought to you the table which compares our CFT results with the CFT results obtained by the paper. Now in this table, you can see that two sections of 0 0.1 and 0 0.15 are specifically designated, which we have calculated their temperature in previous slides. 
it should only be pointed out that the results in this table have the unit of centigrade, whereas the result we have obtained in previous slides had the unit of Kelvin. The only thing you, sh you should do is to change their unit from Kelvin to centigrade, and then you are able to compare the results in this table together. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. And in this slide, you can see that the figure 2 of the paper has been extracted and you can see the picture of the model implemented in the paper. The working mechanism of this membrane distillation system is such that the flow of hot salt water enters its chamber from one side and the flow of cold water enters it from the other side, so that the membrane in the form of filter as well as an air gap is placed in the space, space between these two streams. The saline feed water passing through its common surface with its adjacent membrane gives up its heat to the membrane environment and then is converted to pure vapor inside the membrane. The steam then passes through the porous medium and enters the air in the air gap with its high temperature. Eventually, these vapors collide with the cold surface of the space for passage of cold water flow, and by losing their heat, they distill and turn into pure fresh water. It is assumed that the water flow inside the model has a Reynolds equal to 100, and consequently, the inlet velocity of the hot salt water flow the airflow and the cold water flow has an inlet velocity of 0.1 meter per second. But the direction of salt water flow is from left to right and the direction of air and cold water flow is from right to left. In this slide, you can see that we have extracted the figure 12 of the paper. In this graph, you can see that the paper has reported the temperature distribution on different spatial sections. Now we're going to use this graph in order to validate and compare our CFT results with the paper. The present model is drawn in two dimensions using design model software. The present model is rectangular in shape and consists of four parts. Hot salt water flow space, cold water flow space, air gap and membrane as porous medium. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is structured. The element number is equal to 344,400 and boundary layer mesh is also used. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.